Artificial intelligence is becoming a more common tool in this day and age, coming a long way from being the stuff of science fiction. AI devices are being utilized to change many aspects of our everyday lives, from healthcare, social media, to even in traffic issues. Having said that, many people still don't know that much about AI, and that is the reason why I created my list of 10 things that you should know about artificial intelligence. This is my fix of tech, bringing you the hottest tech innovation straight to your screens. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And of course, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to keep yourself up to date. Formal AI research started in the 1950s. By the 1950s, we had a generation of scientists and mathematicians with the idea of artificial intelligence incorporated in their minds. One such person was Alan Turing, a young British mathematician and computer scientist who explored the mathematical possibilities of artificial intelligence. Turing suggested that humans use available information as well as reason in order to solve problems and make decisions. So why can't computers do the same thing? This was the foundation of his 1950 paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence, in which he discussed how to build intelligent machines and how to test their intelligence. However, before 1949, computers lacked a key prerequisite for intelligence. They couldn't store commands, but only execute them. Basically, computers could be told what to do, but couldn't remember what they did. Second, computing was extremely expensive. In the early 1950s, the cost of leasing a computer was up to $200,000 a month. Only reputable universities and big technology companies could afford to venture in this specific field. While AI research was happening before, it didn't become a formal academic research discipline until the Darth Maud Conference of 1956. Adoption of the name Artificial Intelligence was encouraged by organizer John McCarthy. McCarthy continued contributing to the work of AI in many universities until his death in 2011. The tech itself is not that expensive. Today, the growth of technology is increasing at a rapid rate, bringing numerous possibilities and opportunities with it. While the cost of AI is relatively expensive, it depends on what your needs are. The cost of developing an AI system is more than it is to get it from a third party, but you will get a personalized system suited to your needs. The cost of developing an AI system used to be even more staggering, with prices and resources requirements that were only available to corporations and large institutions. Now, developing AI and machine learning is not as expensive as it used to be. There are now companies dedicated to developing AIs and ML systems for businesses. The price is estimated between $100,000 to $300,000. This is affected by the complexity, size, and customer requirements. With the availability of open source and low cost intelligence systems like CAFE, TensorFlow, Microsoft Cognitive Toolkit, NLTK, the cost of building a system has gone down significantly. Many AI systems like chatbots are easy to implement for many simple scenarios and do not require data scientists to implement them. The $127 billion autonomous vehicle market is being driven by AI. The self-driving car market is expected to be worth $127 billion worldwide by 2027. And AI technology is very important for making them a reality. NVIDIA created its own computer, the Drive PX Pegasus, specifically for driverless cars and powered by the company's AI and GPUs. When talking about autonomous cars, it is almost impossible not to discuss artificial intelligence. AI is used to enable the cars to navigate through the traffic and handle complex situations. Also, with the combined AI software and other sensors such as cameras, it becomes easier to ensure proper and safe driving. A self-driving car's AI system requires a continuous, uninterrupted stream of data and instructions in order to make real-time decisions based on complex data sets. Successful self-driving vehicles exist on the road today. However, the success of many of these early vehicles is the result of repeatedly driving the same route consistently over many days, where they learn every detail of the route and generate high-resolution maps that are then used as a key part of the self-navigation system. The AI processor battle has already begun. We cannot tell who started the competition over artificial intelligence, and it's too soon to tell who will win the race. 
When Intel made its latest AI hardware announcement at Automobility LA 2017, it was not really a conclusion to the battle. Instead, it was only a substantial advance on one part of a handful of major tech giants, all seeking to establish their throne in the field of AI hardware. Whomever rules AI will stand to become the dominating force in many industries including manufacturing, automotive, IoT, medical, and even entertainment. As AI systems become more sophisticated, they demand more computation power from hardware. To address their needs, new hardware specifically designed for AI is supposed to accelerate training and performance of neural networks and reduce the power consumption. The traditional solution is to reduce the size of logic gates to fit more transistors, but shrinking logic gates below about 5 nanometers can cause the chips to malfunction due to quantum tunneling. So the challenge now is to find another way. As a result of this propagation of AI over the past few years, both new and traditional chip makers are increasingly trying to establish their dominance in the emerging AI chip market. UBS forecasts this new market to reach 35 billion by the end of 2021, from 6 billion in 2016. Many US technology giants including Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, and Google, as well as the big three from China, Tencent, Alibaba, and Badu are racing to make AI chips that can support the next generation of AI applications. AI is helping to verify and fact check. As trust in news has been dissolved by disinformation and falsehood dispersed via social media, AI can offer an answer to identify and reduce it. Journalists can use AI for fact-checking and investigation of text, pictures, and video. Think of Chiquillabot, a software made in Argentina that automatically finds claims that are variable with facts and news texts and sends them to the newsroom. Comparable automated fact-checking applications are Claimbuster and Factmata. The UK-based startup Logically utilizes an AI calculation to combat fake news. The field has made some amazing progress. However, despite everything, it faces critical challenges. The verification of videos is a particularly huge problem. There is competition between those who want to deploy AI to expand video and those who want to advance their own agenda. Promising tools like Amber, Serilay, and TrueEpic can help journalists to authenticate photos and videos. Amazed by these surprising facts? I know you are. Don't worry because I have more revelations to share. Especially the idea where artificial intelligence can gain insight on humans' emotional state. Humans are smarter than any type of AI. For now. A significant number of boldest claims for AI have not yet happened. AI is not yet curing cancer, and Amazon's recruiting tool acted with just as much bias as a normal human recruiter. What's more, in that lies a key takeaway for anybody needing to discover accomplishment with AI. Man-made brain power can't yet do things that people can't do. People are misled by artificial intelligence because of a phenomenon known as the ELISA effect, named after a 1966 computer program that responded to people's typed statements in the manner of a psychotherapist. The computer was executing some very simple programming logic, but the people interacting with it ascribed emotional intelligence and empathy to its replies. Men are all alike. In what way? The same phenomenon happens today in our reactions to the apparent success of machine learning and AI. We overestimate its achievements and underestimate our own performance because we rarely stop to think how much we already know. All of the context we bring to interpreting any situation is something we take for granted. Some researchers expect artificial intelligence systems to be only one-tenth as smart as a human by 2035. Things may get somewhat complicated around 2060, when AI could start performing nearly all the tasks humans do, and likely doing them much better. Human and AI working alongside While AI is profoundly changing how work gets done and who does it, the innovation's bigger effect will be the increasing human abilities not replacing them. Man-made reasoning is getting the hang of numerous jobs, diagnosing disease, translating foreign languages, giving customer service, and it's improving quick. This is raising fears that AI will at least replace human laborers all through the economy. However, that is not the most probable result. At no other time have advanced tools been so responsive to us, nor we to our tools. 
While AI will fundamentally modify how work gets and who does it, the innovation's bigger effect will be in complementing and improving human abilities, not replacing them. Time isn't far when people and AI will completely work alongside, in particularly all aspects of everyday individual and professional lives. These instruments will allow individuals to make the greater part of the human abilities, for example, envisioning, planning, strategizing, conveying, and that's only the tip of the iceberg. While labor will never likely to lose significance anytime soon, it doesn't mean we should quit learning new abilities to work close by AI. AI will work cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is one of the many uses of artificial intelligence. Going by a recent report by Norton, the global cost to recover from a typical data breach is $3.86 million. Studies also conclude that it takes a whole 196 days to recover from any data breach. In that capacity, it bodes well for organizations to utilize AI to keep away from both monetary losses and exercise in futility. As hacking, phishing, and other cyber attacks become more sophisticated, AI smart technology will play an even more important role in protecting people from these incursions into their lives. AI can be used to detect the signs of digital activity or transaction patterns that are likely to be the indicators of malicious threat or activity. AI will notify the concerned authorities in advance about the possibility of a breach in their defenses so that they could take necessary precautionary steps in advance before their sensitive data gets compromised. Up until this point, AI has been making contradicting opinions. While huge organizations and research firms are investing huge amounts of cash in AI innovative work, a few researchers are cautioning individuals that AI may very well end up being the finish of mankind. This discussion doesn't appear to end at any point in the near future. AI can smell. When it comes to identifying scents, a neuromorphic artificial intelligence beats other AI by more than a nose. This such AI can learn to recognize smells more efficiently and reliably than other algorithms. And unlike other AI, this system can keep learning new aromas without forgetting others. The key to the program's success is a neuromorphic structure, which resembles the neural circuitry in mammalian brains more than other AI designs. Like the olfactory system in the mammal brain, some of the AI's neurons are designed to react to chemical sensor inputs by emitting differently timed pulses. Other neurons learn to recognize patterns in those blips that make up the odor's electrical signature. This brain-inspired setup primes a neuromorphic AI for learning new smells more than a traditional artificial neural network, which starts as a uniform web of identical, black slate neurons. If a neuromorphic neural network is like a basketball team whose players have assigned positions and know the rules of the game, an ordinary neural network is initially like a group of random noobs. There are artificial intelligence researchers who are currently developing AI models that will be able to detect illness just by smelling a human's breath. It can detect chemicals called aldehydes that are associated with human illness and stress, including cancer, diabetes, brain injuries, and detecting the woody, musky odor emitted from Parkinson's disease even before any other symptoms are identified. Artificially intelligent bots could identify gas leaks or other caustic chemicals as well. IBM is even using AI to develop new perfumes. AI can understand human emotions. The depiction of robots as sounding devoid of human emotions was not uncommon in films. Perhaps film producers felt the need to reinforce the differences between humans and machines. One of the founding fathers of AI, Marvin Minsky, was once questioned about machine emotions and said, the question is not whether intelligent machines can have any emotions, but whether machines can be intelligent without any emotions. It was thought by some people that reenacting human emotions may be one of the more challenging parts of AI, believing that reproducing and understanding the scope of human feelings would be extremely troublesome. Numerous current AI ventures are demonstrating otherwise. For instance, Google at their May 2018 Duplex Developer Conference has demonstrated an extension to its AI helper program. This extension can make phone calls in certain situations that sound convincingly like communication with a real human being. The organization have now acknowledged that it will be an AI program when the framework is released, as opposed to genuine human voices. In 2009, Rana El Kelyubi and Picard founded Effectiva, an emotion AI company based in Boston, which specializes in automotive AI and advertising research. With customers' consent, the user's camera captures their reactions while watching an advertisement. 
Using Multimodal Emotion AI, which analyzes facial expressions, speech, and body language, they can gain a complete insight into the individual's mood. Their 90% accuracy levels are thanks to their diverse test sets of 6 million faces from 87 different countries, used to train deep learning algorithms. From a diverse data set, the AI will learn which metrics of body language and speech patterns coincide with different emotions and thoughts. Market research is being helped by AI to track an individual's emotions as they watch videos. Artificial emotion intelligence can accumulate information from an individual's facial expressions, body language, and that's only the tip of the iceberg. The AI then breaks it down against an emotion database to figure out what emotion is likely being conveyed, and afterward decide an activity dependent on that information. Which of these revelations really caught your attention and why? Drop me a line below so I can talk about it with you within the first hour. How great are future possibilities of robotics? Find out in my related video, Crazy New Robot Inventions. I will count down 10 of the most fascinating robot inventions. Stay connected, stay up to date.